Hey guys, it's JJ Sweets and welcome back to my channel. Me and the beautiful Miss Ebony Brunskin have put together this anti and pro Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you. See if you can guess who is anti and who is pro. I'll be leaving the link to her um, video in the description box below. Make sure you go and take a look at that because I know I definitely will be going there to pick up some pointers for myself, okay? Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tutorial. Hey, so I've actually already started with my eyebrows and to go around my eyebrows I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the colour Suede just to blend from the concealer I've already put on my eyebrows to my skin colour so it's not as harsh as it usually would be. Next I'm going to be going in with my Lorac Beginners Palette. I'm going to go with the blackest black in there. I'm trying my hand at a cut at a cut crease. So, you know, just follow my instructions and hopefully yours turns out better than mine because I ain't, I ain't too good at this. I can't even lie to you. I ain't. Just make sure when you are blending, it's blending very well, you know? And to turn the cut crease into an actual cut crease, I will be using the NYX Concealer in Tan Bronze. We're going to use this to draw the place where you want the eyeshadow to drop on top. That's what we're going to do. Now this here is my favourite item, we got the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the colour Milk. This is what we're going to use to outline the bottom bit of our eyes and elongate it on the sides, okay? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, no, I'm joking. So the eyeshadow we're using to throw on top of the concealer is going to be from the, our Technic Electric Palette that I got from the Chinaman from down the road. I'm going to be using these three colours that I pointed at, I pointed at, I pointed at, I pointed at, I pointed at okay? Going from lightest to the darkest. Alright, don't watch how crustified my eyeliner looks, but I assure you that this is actually Remo London Gel Waterproof Eyeliner, 100%, okay? Looks a bit mashed up because my dogs found it and was biting it. Don't worry, I got to it before, you know, she actually ingested any of the, the gel, but that's why it's looking a bit mashed up. Don't insult me. Please, don't insult me. Next up, I'm using my Yuan Wang Zhong eyelashes. I'm sure that's what they call Yuan Wang Zhong. They're natural as hell. Put those on. Now, with these eyelashes, I always make sure to use my mascara because they are so natural. But when you're doing your makeup, you can actually use a fuller set of eyelashes. That's up to you. You know what I'm saying? I will be using my Milk of Magnesia to prime my nose and my upper lip area because those are the areas that get the most oily, okay? I'm gonna go in with this Bang Bang Fenty Beauty Foundation in the colour 430, what are you saying to me? Now with this, I don't use no colour correct because this Fenty Beauty Foundation dries matte so I'm just gonna dollop a whole heap of that on the top of my lip, let it dry for a bit and then cover the rest of my face with the foundation. To contour, I'm just going to be using a lighter shade of foundation. This is my Mary Kay foundation in the colour Bronze 1. Back to using a Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the colour Espresso to deepen my chic bones, to deepen the contours, yeah? Oh yes baby, it's time to bake, okay? Today I'm gonna be using the Ben 9 powder in the banana. Usually I use the topaz, but today we're gonna be using the banana because we're trying to be bright, okay? Once you have finished putting the banana powder in the right place, you're gonna leave it for about three minutes and then you're gonna brush it up with a brush, okay? Why am I talking like that? I think I'm gonna keep quiet for a couple of minutes and calm down, okay? Because I'm getting a little bit hyper. <laughs>
Okay, so after I've used um, the highlighter on my cheekbones, my forehead, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow, I'm going to go in with the gems. We are going to be using the pink gems to go with my lovely pink hair. Now for the lips, it's really just basic stuff. For the base, I used this NYX liquid suede in the color LS something something 12. That's what I used as the base. And then in the middle of that, I'm going to be using this Velvet Kiss lip gloss that I stole from my mum. But if you can use any um, lighter shade um, red or pink lip lipstick to put in the middle of that. And then on top of that, which is why I was calling it the base, I don't know if that's a technical term, but I'm calling it the base. We're going to just go over that with some similar colours from the eyeshadow palette to make the lips matte. And for the finishing touches, I'm going to be using my Freedom Finishing Spray and Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. Not as a highlighter, I'm going to use a thick brush and because it's very pigmented, I'm going to use a thick brush and just flick it on my face and on my collarbones. And that is that. Let me know what you guys think about this look in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out Ebony Bronze Skin's makeup tutorial as well. I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. It's all good. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to see more of little old JJ Sweets. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Okay.